guys, Montes Muraman here. Now you might be thinking, what the fuck? Montes Muraman, why are you in a white SC650? Uh, well, I don't know if you guys can see from here, but I got my buddy Avi over here, and he's uh, on the SC650, but wait, that bike looks familiar. <laughs> That's because that is my old uh, SC650. And this is his SC650. Uh, we're test riding the two. So I just swapped uh, till we get to my buddy's house. So I thought, you know, Mark, why do you want to try it? <laughs> so he's like, I think he's enjoying it. <laughs> he just uh, he just shook his head. I think that's a good sign. So yeah, I've actually been riding it for a day because got fixed it yesterday. Uh, so yeah, basically has a brand new motor in it. Well, not brand new, but uh, working motor. <laughs> uh, that took a week to do because of getting all the all the right tools, getting the help, because doing it yourself is uh, nearly impossible unless you have a serious jack stand. And what else? Oh yeah, getting. Uh, Getting the time even to do it, because you yeah, had the college and the work and shit, and uh, in between all this. But, no, nevertheless, got it done. Put it all back together, I thought, yes, it's over. Turn it on. Oh, hello, yeah, I'm just gonna idle too high and uh, piss you off and uh, heat up a wee bit and pop a lot. Um, so yeah, I spent another week trying to figure that out was basically doing FBI shit all over the forums and ended up finding a solution so uh, it turns out it was a vacuum leak so like one of those you know guys one of those vacuum leaks that you think there's no vacuum leak because nothing's cracked and everything's tightened down but there's still a vacuum leak yeah one of those ones so ended up using a silicate where the gasket maker which is like silicon based to cover up all all around the uh, intake manifold and also around the carb as well so that's that's really nicely tucked in now it's only one cylinder which is the rear one which is causing all these issues and then start it up voila idles like a like a baby yeah That's pretty cool. Actually, uh, I'm not noticing the speed on it. Like, it's so quiet. I keep thinking, you know, where's the revving gonna... When, when's it gonna start? Power band. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> There's an arm cadet. Ooh, did you get that pop? pop a pop 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 skibidi pop 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 And a boom 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 Batinka? Batinka? Like, so you can hear it pop, 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 but that's because the carb still needs a uh, rebalancing because it is a new engine, I guess, you know, different compression and all that because, I don't know, the old engine that might have uh, might have less compression, you know, it's not going to be the same, so you need to find someone who would... So you need to find someone who would uh, help me do that. I wasn't expecting that from Mr. Mavi, man. <laughs> I was about to say Mavi, I was like, what the fuck? So yeah, sorry for my dying voice, I'm actually... I do have a bit of a cold, and uh, it is cold, it's just not, that's not helping. <laughs> also wearing a jumper on top of my leathers, which actually make me look pretty fucking sick, but at the same time, it actually do help keep me warm. Here, poppity pop pop all over the place. Love the show, homie. No cap. Two hours later. I say, hey, 
<laughs> oh, it's so low, I love it. Stand is so smooth and easy to disengage. You can push it up a hill. Maybe not. Ach, to kurva! Let's just uh, ignore, <laughs> ignore that shit. Oh my god. I gave us! <laughs> and for a spin, and for a spin! Yeah guys, for those who don't know, Avi's actually, uh, he started off as a local subscriber to Mantis Murman. And uh, a very loyal subscriber that said he watched uh, every one of my videos, which I, which I was uh, very intrigued by because I didn't think it was that interesting. <laughs> And yeah, then uh, Revit made contact with him because he watched Revit as well. Uh, they just came over one day and that's how we met. And now Revit's gone, so now it's just me and him. So we're going out for a wee spin. He got himself an SV650, he got inspired by my dad's <coughs> SV1000, which was a full fairing blue uh, model. He liked the way it looks, I was like, yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, since 2014, only done like two and a half thousand miles, which is amazing. This one's like a lot. This bike's pretty much 60,000 kilometers, which is, you know, old engine and actually a new engine. So the new engine, according to the owner that I got it from, did 35,000. 